It's very frustrating. Gina Key couldn't believe the mess in front of her home Wednesday morning. 2.30, 3 o'clock, the sump pump woke me up with all that sound and I looked out the window and it was flooded. I thought, oh, please let it be gone by morning. Bad news for her? It wasn't. It was even worse. Public Works employees jumped right in, but there's only so much you can do. You see, you gotta scrape out all that debris and wait for the draining to finish. This is the entire cleanup caught in a time lapse. Now you might be asking, how long does this take actually? Uh, roughly 45 minutes. And many of you may be wondering, why does it take so long to clear out these drains? Well, let me show you the issue over here. Basically, those guys gotta get all the water through two small holes like this one. And as you can imagine, there's quite a bit of backup. The holes are small because anything bigger would back up the larger drains, causing issues in basements. Of course, with flooding like this, some people didn't have a day off to burn, so those living back in this area with only one way out, they drove right through yards. She drove on the sidewalks, and the water was so far over the uh, uh, into the lawn that the lawn was really soggy, and she just started spinning out, and she got herself trapped. A tow bill and a neighbor's lawn ruined. Every time. Yeah, it doesn't really have to be even that heavy. The good news, the road got cleared today. The bad news, those who live here say it's a regular problem. Reporting in Southfield, Matthew Smith, the Now Detroit.